Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can change the default icon for a file type in Windows. For example, I have a text document here on my desktop with the file ending .txt. And as you can see, there's this sheet icon here. And if you like to change it, we will have a look in this video how you can achieve that. Well, in recent or older versions of Windows, like Windows XP, it was very easy to change the icon for file type. However, as of Windows 7, it's not so easy anymore. But there's a tool, it's called File Types Man from Nilsoft. It's a free utility you can download from this website. I will put the link into the video description and this tool allows us to change the icon very easily. You have to scroll down a little bit on the website uh, to get to the download section. Here it is. There are two different versions here. It's a 32-bit version and the 64-bit version and you have to download the correct version depending on your Windows system. In my case, it's a 40-bit Windows. I already downloaded the file here. It's basically a zip file and all you need to do is to unzip the file. I open the zip file here and as you can see, there are three files in the zip. Just copy it anywhere on your hard drive and it's a portable application, so you don't have to install anything. Okay, here it is. Uh, here's the executable file. And I just double click the file. Uh, then I have to acknowledge the admin rights and there is the software. After start, it takes a little while to read every information into the application. And once this is done, you have a very long list of file types and extensions in the software. So uh, if you look at the list, uh, you already see, uh, for example, associated files with VLC. And in the default icon column, you see the icon which is used for the file type. So now we have to get to the .txt file extension to change the icon for that. Um, the easiest way is to use the search and then we just type .txt into the find dialog. This will jump directly to the .txt file text document. And here you can see uh, the current default icon is associated with system root system32 image rest.dll. It's basically a DLL which Windows ships, which contains all the icons of the Windows system. So if you want to change the icon, just double click on the entry and then you can change the default icon here. This will just open another dialog where you can select uh, either a DLL or a .exe file. Um, .exe files of programs usually also contain icon files you can, or icons you can select from. Okay, now we are using this DLL here. And if you look to all the icons in here, you will recognize a lot of them because Windows uses all these icons in different places, for example, the Explorer. And all we have to do here is select a different icon. For example, if I want to uh, change the icon from this one here to this one here, I just hit OK, select the icon, hit OK. You, you see a small change here. The index has changed. It's now a different icon, hit OK. And well, that's it. As you can see in the background, uh, the icon of the file type is already changed to the icon we have selected. So let's change it back. Select the icon we had before, hit OK, and then the icon is changed. I also told you that you can uh, not only select the default icons here, but you can select a different icon. Um, for example, let's do this for, well, let's, let's do this for the txt file. I want to select a different icon here. I select browse and so I also can go to this PC, to my hard drive, program files, and then for example, to, for my editor here, PS edit, select a .exe ex executable file, hit open, and then you can see this um, .exe file, this executable file also contains icons and also brings icons for, yeah, for file types. Select this one, hit OK. And then 
the icon is changed. Well, that's an easy way to change the file icon in Windows with file types, man. And well, that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.